Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome your faces back to another video. And today we are going to be doing another modification on the BMW, which I've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, I just haven't got around to doing it, but we are going to be spraying the brake calipers um, and also painting the brake drum, not the disc, but the drum, which um, holds the alloys on. Um, so we're going to be doing that today. I've never done this before. Um, I'm not taking the calipers actually off the car and doing them on the car. Um, so it's actually saying that you can do it at home yourself if you wanted to do it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, take the wheels off, show you what you need um, to get started. Um, and then get going. Right guys, so the things you're going to need to do it on the car. Obviously you need a jack. You need um, something to get the wheel nuts off, you need some bin bags, some masking tape, you need some brake cleaner which is in here but this also has my black brake pad paint in, well brake drum paint in because I'm painting my drums a different colour to the calipers so that's got that in. You need some high heat primer and some high heat paint as well so i'm going for blue it's not this blue it's actually a lot brighter you need some sandpaper and some steel wire brushes right so to jack up the bmw one series you've got a little jack point which is if it focuses just there so what you want to do is you want to get the jack underneath it um you can get jacking pads um but mine's broken anyway so it wouldn't even fit in and all you need to do is jack it up, jack it up, but slowly. Never jacked up a car before, just go one pump at a time, and go slowly. If you rush, that's where mistakes happen. So just go slow until there's enough of the tire off the floor to be able to get it off. Like that. So that's enough to get the tire off. Obviously, leave that there. Try not to hit it or anything because obviously it's going to be unstable. I haven't got any of the jack clamps. Um, I wasn't going to borrow some, but they were in use. So I, I haven't got any. Um, so kind of, it's got to stay on the jack. So I've actually got to do one wheel at a time. So it's going to take a little bit longer. But I'm going to take this one. I'll show you how to do this one, and then we're going to go ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and do the others and I'll show you the finished pro product. So when you're taking off the wheels, obviously you have the normal nuts and then you've got a wheel locking nut. You should have a wheel locking nut to take off the jagged edge one. Sometimes the BMW 1 Series um, alloys can be welded onto the drum from the zinc. So you need to take off the centre caps if it, your wheel isn't coming off and basically from behind just tap your wheels um, with either... A rubber mallet um, or just using a bit of force so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my wheel so guys sorry I forgot to mention when the car's on the floor before you jack it up you want to loosen the nuts um, because you can't loosen them when the car's jacked up because the wheel will just turn so loosen the nuts before you jack it up and then jack it up As you can see guys that was seized on um so all, what you need to do is it's just a lot of coercion so you can go behind the wheel and basically kick um and it will come up off obviously using a rubber mallet and then just keep like prying it from side to side by wobbling it um and it will eventually come off um bmws are really known for that happening um because of the materials they see 
this welds onto the tire using zinc so it can be a bit of a arse to get off but it's finally off so here they are uh, these aren't actually in that bad shape so I'm going to clean them up um, and then I'm going to clean all this up because this is what I'm going to paint here so this is going to go black and these are going to go blue so what you want to do now is with your brake cleaner spray it on use a steel wire brush to clean it all up um, same with this wipe it all do it all again wipe it all if there's any really rusty parts you can sand it with light sandpaper um, and then clean it again and wipe it all uh, but what you can do is just make sure these are cleaned up as possible get all the brake dust off everything like that ready for spraying so the first thing you want to do is before you use brake fluid is just get all surface dust off yourself without having to use any fluid so it'll give the fluid a better chance of working properly so use a wire brush and just get off all of the brake dust Make sure that if you're not doing this in a well ventilated space, you wear mask protection. Like if you're doing it in a garage or something, make sure you're wearing some mask protection because brake dust is actually poisonous to you. So. see they started off black definitely not black anymore they're uh back to being rusty brown so i'm gonna give this a wipe and then i'm going to use the brake cleaner and do it all again so i'm actually I'm actually going to be changing these pads in like a week. So these are going to be coming off again. And what the plan is, is when these come off, I am going to basically give them another coat, um, just for any areas that I've missed, just to make sure that I've got full coverage. Um, so that I haven't missed anything and they're covered properly. Because obviously there's a lot of hard places to get into. The last thing you want to do is miss some of them places. Okay, so these are all cleaned up now, as you can see. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove this um, from the disc um, and put my plastic bag around the disc and then put this back on to spray it. Um, if you do wanna do that. So, as with everything on this car, 
it's completely different to every single BMW 1 Series. So most 1 Series have a clip in here um, to take like the brake pads and stuff off. And they've got two plastic tabs at the back which you pull out to get the bolts off. Not the case with mine. Mine has a completely different kind of clip at the top um, and at the bottom. And also my bolts are literally just there. So completely different. That's one reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel for this car is because anyone that does have this car, it's so hard to find any kind of tutorial about how to do anything because it's different to every BMW. So every video you find, I can guarantee this car will be different. So I'm going to remove them. But if you don't want to remove them and you do want to do this on the car, what you need to do, you need to get a bin bag. You need to... Um, make a small slit like a like a, a two inch slit put the uh, bin bag round and then start at the bottom and put the start of the brake caliper in the slit and then you don't want to rip the hole open to fit over you want to use the elasticity of the bin bag and stretch it over and pull it around the other side and put it over the caliper once you've done that you will then want to make sure that there's none of the discs showing. If there's a tiny bit of the disc showing, it doesn't really matter. It will come off when you break. And then just mask it all in place. I'm going to take that off anyway. And then I'll show you what I do in terms of masking everything off. Um, mine's going to be a bit easier because I'm putting the bin bag on. I'm going to cover all of this. And then I just need to mask the wires um, and stuff like that, which I don't want to get... Um, break stuff on so i'm gonna do that and then yeah i'll show you i'll show you now rubber parts because I don't really want anything on them um, just make sure that this is mask and tape in here um, as well just make sure everything is nice and covered
you can go ahead. So I've got very high heat primer. So I'm gonna do a light coat of this to start off with. So after that coat you leave it for 10 minutes so the idea is it's just a light coat it's not going to be full coverage the first one so you do two light coats leave it for 10 minutes and then do a wet coat and then we'll be good to go on to the color after 30 minutes for 30 minutes before we can put on the color so we're going to leave that for 30 minutes come back to it and then start putting on the blue which will be good um it'll be the same process for the blue it'll be two light coats and then um it will be a wet coat so the prime is actually sat really well um which is good so we'll let that dry for 30 minutes and then we'll start with the blue and then we'll un Take, take it all off um, after an hour and then we'll get started on the next wheels because I don't because I only have the jacket at the minute I don't have the stands I can only do one wheel at a time unfortunately and obviously you have to wait between coats so a little bit annoying but yeah we'll do the blue in half an hour <sighs> it's time for the blue again high temperature caliper paint blue not sure what this is going to come out like. I haven't actually, like, I probably should spray it beforehand. This, this one's blue on after. So, again, one light coat. So this is after the second coat so i've got one more coat to go which is going to be the wet coat but i just want to stress how important it is to obviously cover your car because this is all the overspray and if that wasn't there my car would be uh getting sprayed so make sure that you really do tape it all off um and make sure that you've got kind of cover it the more you do the better like you can't have too much but you can have too little um but yeah it looks good so far just need to do one more wet coat um and then i'm gonna leave it to dry for an hour remove everything paint the drum and then get on with the others but yeah that's what it looks like so far right this is the third and final coat
Now we need to leave that an hour. Once we've left that an hour, we can then do the brake drum. Um, and then the brake drum paint you have to leave as well. And then we can put the wheel back on, then we can do the other side. So it's really annoying that I have to wait right, until I do each side, because obviously it takes, it's not exactly a quick job. Like you have to leave 10 minutes between each coat and then the final coat, you have to leave 30 minutes on primer. This you have to leave an hour before you can touch it. So a bit of a pain, but it looks good. Hopefully it looks even better once it's dry for an hour. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you again once this is dry for an hour and then we can put on, put, uh, paint the drums black. Guys, as you can see, this is my brake calipers. Looks really nice, it's got a nice shine to it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna paint this black. Um, with I'm going to hand paint it because I'm not going to spray it because obviously there's too much to mask off but yeah it looks really good it'll look even better with my wheel on so I'm going to go ahead and paint that now so I'm going to link all of the things that I have used in the description but literally everything comes with it so like you even get the brush with it <laughs> leave that about 30 minutes and then we're going to give it another coat So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put the wheel back on. Um, it's actually matte rather than in gloss, but the car's going matte grey, matte black anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but in the meantime, it's just going to it's going to dry quite um, quite matty, um, which will be cool. Right, guys, here it is, finished product. Sorry about the dirty alloys and the messed up alloys. They are getting repaired, but all in all, the blue looks really good behind as you can see and then you've got the black drums as well you can't really see the black drums but it just adds a, a nice effect but yeah 
They look really nice. The car is filthy, but they look really good. Really happy of them. Right guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, the finished product looks really good, especially with the black wheels. Uh, so I'm really happy with it. The next video is probably, the next video is either gonna be the exhaust getting done, um, where I'm getting a full custom exhaust fitted to this, or it's gonna be where the car's getting um, dipped. So I have thought of the design and I have thought of the colors. So the idea is for the car to be matte black at the front, going into matte gray at the back, but with like a staggered pattern, like gradually going into it. Um, so that is the plan for that. And that is what is happening, which I think is gonna look pretty sick. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the next video. But thanks for watching this video. Um, this is something that you can all do yourself at home. Like it's really simple. Uh, even to remove the calipers, like it, it, it is a really easy job to do. I am gonna be changing the brake pads as well soon. So I'll show you guys how to do that and how to reset the, um, the brakes and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like right in, make sure you're subscribed, um, turn on your notifications so that you get notified of any other videos coming. Um, Cause there's quite a few uh, on its way. If you've got any questions, please let me know, but thanks for watching.